What's up everybody, it's Jaime from Jimenez Noble Detailing based out of Pico Rivera, California. And today I'm gonna show you how I started my detailing business and what are the struggles of detailing. So Jaime, uh, what made you start so early? So what made me start so early is that I've always been a person that I've always wanted to reach for more. My, my parents have always motivated me to, to go grow bigger and go stronger. So ever since I, since I was in high school, they always told me like, hey, you know what, you gotta start early, get a head start in life. And you wanna know how it is in the real world at a young age. So when you're there, you're already ready for it. And you're ready for any obstacles that come. You don't just catch it from surprise then then. So Jaime, uh, what equipment and vehicle did you start with when you first started your business? I started with the 1990, 99 OBS Chevy on the back of the bed. I had all my stuff right there. And then after that, I transferred to a trailer. And then after that, now I'm here. Um, and how did, you, how did you get that equipment? So I, I got the equipment by selling my first car, my very first car. My, by the help of my parents, they helped me get it. And then after I had to make a sacrifice to own a business. So unfortunately I had to sell it. And then I sold it for seven grand. And then I just invested all that seven grand into the business. What was the hardest thing about that setup? The hardest thing about the, my first setup was that it wasn't really easy to maneuver around everything. So I had to just reach over and do certain things compared to when I have a new setup, everything's just in and out with the reels and with, cut, with um, bottle holders and everything's way easier. Just go in and out makes you job quicker. So Jaime, how do you balance uh, school and work? I balance school and work by going to school and I get out at three. As soon as I'm out of school, I come home and I just go straight to work. When I'm back from work, I try to maneuver on my schedule so I can get home and just do homework and then I'll have my day right there. So your day starts at what time? My day starts at eight. So I go to school at eight and I get out at three. As soon as I get out, I come right home and I go straight to work. When do you detail? So I detail every day out of the week. So I detail Monday through Friday. From, th from three or four to on. And then on the Saturday, Sunday, I work all day. All day, got it. So Jaime, what's uh, your customer's usual response when they see you, when you get to their place and they see that you're, you're 17 years old? When I go to someone's place and they see that I'm 17, sometimes they look at me like, you're too young to be detailing or a certain way, but at, sometimes they also admire me for looking at me as a young age and they see like, damn, he's, he's super young and he's going at it after, you know? There's not a lot of kids that are doing that at my age. But I have had a lot of issues with people probably wanting to lower the prices because I'm young or they look at me a certain way or they expect me to do more of the job because I'm young. But at the end of the day, it just goes both ways. Do they uh, underestimate you? Sometimes, and some, some occasions they do, but usually most of the time I'm, I should be good because by the way of how I look, people think that I'm like 20 or older. So you look older than you, than you are? Yeah. So Jaime, uh, do people try to haggle you on prices or try to get more than what they're paying for because of your age? Uh, yes, I have, I have had an occasion when that has happened. I got a client where I went to their house and they didn't ask me no prices because they thought I was cheap because I'm young. And they told me to do their whole interior of their vehicle. So I finished the whole interior, I gave them the price and they didn't like it. And they said that, why am I charging so much if I just started and I'm a young person? So that, that's a good example of why you got to look for your clients and you got to have certain clients that work with you and what you want to, what they want to pay. So did that client end up paying you or no? Uh, yeah, they ended up paying me. Uh, they, it was kind of forced, but at the end of the day, they did end up paying me, but ever since that day, they haven't called me back. Well, that's why I said, you gotta work with something that, that's gonna pay and you know your, your work and you know how you detail, so that's what they're really paying for. Hey, I Jaime, mean, now that you have a year under your belt uh, detailing, uh, what's the next area you wanna improve on? Now that I have a year under my belt detailing, I wanna improve on being quicker and being more time consuming. So I wanna get there and just go straight to it. In some occasions, I, I don't really do that. I kind of slack off sometimes, but with time and effort, you gotta just be quicker, and that's how you know time is money. So you're quicker, you're gonna make more. And if you have more vans going out at the same time, it'll be more better for you. How do you plan on, on getting quicker? I wanna plan on getting quicker by hiring employees and not always being alone. So I wanna hire employees, but I wanna get more work. So when I hire more employees, get more work, and that'll be better for me, and it'll be better for all of us in the business. Hey, Hamas, so what, what, do you, what have your friends said about your hustle? Uh, a lot of my friends are really supportive. Uh, they all think that it's great that what I'm doing at a young age. You're kind of surprised you don't really see much of this. But also, you're always going to have haters, man. You're always going to have people that are trying to bring you down. You can never let that stop you. You're always going to have people throwing you down, talking bad about you. But at the end of the day, they're not doing what you're doing. So just got to keep going forward and strive for the best. Don't let someone stop you from reaching your dreams. And Ahmed, what about your parents? Are they supportive of your business endeavor? 
Uh, ever since day one, my parents have always been supportive. They have been my number one supporters. They have always told me, hey, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing no matter what. I've had my bad days, my good days, but at the end of the day, they're always going to be there for me. Your parents are always going to be there, and they were the ones that brought you to the world, so you got to be grateful, you know? They have always pushed me and pushed me, and they have never stopped believing my side. So, Jaime, what's your goal after you graduate high school? After I graduate high school, I want to go to school to be a businessman. So I want to get more into business and grow as a, as a business. Like college or? Yeah, I want to go to college. I want to go to community college and uh, see how, how it goes and let's go, go, go to school for business. So there you guys have it. That's how I started my detailing business. I would like to hear if you guys have any advice. Drop it down below and go follow me on Instagram at Jimenez underscore mobile underscore detailing. If you like this detailing content and want to see more, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.